I mean, we're obviously coming off a tough loss. We did not play particularly well at Tennessee. Uh, they, you know, they exposed some weaknesses. We're, we're currently, if you look at conference-only games, we're dead last in turnover percentage on offense. We had not had that issue really until we hit conference play. So we've got to get some guys to start taking care of the ball better. You know, starting with our backcourt, you know, Mark Ryland turned it over quite a bit. Tennessee, Aaron's had issues with his turnovers. I think those three guys really got to take care of the ball. You know, because Auburn turns people over more than anybody in the league if you look at conference-only games. So their strength on defense has been our weakness on offense, so that's going to be a major area of concern and where we need to look at. You know, and then Auburn's just playing well. I mean, they're, you know – Coach Pearl's done a great job there. He's got them playing at an elite level. I mean, you look at their last, whatever, 11 games or whatever. I mean, they're running through people. They're shooting the ball well. They're playing hard on defense. They're super deep. I think they're third in the country in bench scoring. So they, they don't have too many flaws. Now, it's going to be a typical Alabama-Auburn game. I mean, even when one team's and they're definitely playing better than we are right now. But even when one team's better than another, these games tend to be tough, hard-fought games. We, we were the better team last year, and they came in here, and we were down, what was it, 17 with under eight minutes to go because they came and played hard, and we were somehow fortunate enough to get the win. We probably didn't deserve it for at least 30-plus minutes. We didn't deserve that win last year. So it'll be an intense game. Our guys need to – play with a little bit more intensity, a little more toughness than we did at Tennessee, a lot more actually. But, you know, we, we do have a good offense when we're not turning the ball over. Uh, they have a good offense. We need to, you know, Jalen Williams is shooting it well. Holloway, the freshman point guard, is playing elite. Brooms, one of the best bigs in the league. They, they've got really good pieces on the team. Just mentioned Broom. Just how important is it for guys like Nick and Grant and even Mo to play well in this game? Yeah, I mean we've struggled in some of these games. We played some of the best bigs in the country when you know we played Edie, Balo, Cockbrenner, Tolu Smith's been pretty good. I mean you kind of go down the list. We played some good ones. You know Broom's the leading scorer for Auburn. He, he's really good. So it is a concern. We've had foul problems with those guys. You know, Nick's got to do a better job guarding it. Now, Nick hasn't been in foul trouble here lately, but he's, you know, he's got a history of it. He's got to do a better job guarding him without fouling. Grant did a pretty good job on Tolu. You know, we might have to move Grant there a little bit. And Wagee's got the same issue as Nick. He's got to do a better job without fouling. So, and Broom's tough. He's physical. He, he deep seals you. He can step out and make a three. He can take you off the dribble. So, he's not, you know, like, he's not Zach Eadie's not that big. He's not as good maybe in the post, but he's got unbelievable footwork in there, and, he, and, he, and he's strong. So he's definitely a concern for us. Yeah, you, t you talked about uh, their just ability to force turnovers, but, I mean, they don't turn the ball over much in terms of non-steals. I mean, what do you see there from the way they take care of the ball? Yeah, I mean, they've got a freshman point guard that's doing a really good job running their team, taking care of the ball. So... I see a quality team that's well coached, that understands the value of taking care of the ball, and we got to get better at it. Like, we're not, our defense has never been one to, you know, and they, they, they play super hard, but they kind of junk it up and they'll trap and, you know, different out of bounds schemes to try to turn you over. We haven't done that as much, so we, we've been more. Try, you know, we had the number one effective field goal percentage in the country last year on defense. Ours has been a little bit more like that. You know, with this group, we may need to be a little more aggressive at times, similar to them. But, you know, they they, they, they do a good job taking care of the ball. We, we don't necessarily have to turn you over to, to have a good defensive performance. But we haven't been as good at, at, you know, our effective field goal percentage this year. Teams have been able to get to the rim too much and get too many open threes. But we're not going to all of a sudden start gambling, going for steals, putting us in. That, that That's not really who we are. Yeah, Coach, how would you describe kind of this matchup, this rivalry, and what it's meant to uh, you and this team since you've been here? Yeah, I mean, the, the, you know, Coach Pearl came in, turned that 
program completely around. I mean, you look at where it was before he got here. It was at the bottom of this league. So the, the last three years, the regular season championships have been totally in the SEC, have been totally in Alabama, you know, in the state of Alabama. We've got two of them. They've got one. You know, they, they've done a good job. I think somebody told me in the last six years, since 2017, there's been nine first-round picks in the Alabama-Auburn games. So you look at the talent. They, I mean, they've had it. Curl, Jabari Smith, they've had lottery picks. We've had Kyra, Primo, Brandon Miller, multiple lottery picks, multiple first-round picks from both groups. There's been a lot of talent. There's been a lot of winning between the two programs. Um, there hasn't been a lot of uh, blowouts. They're all pretty close games, and they're, you know, the fans certainly get into it. I mean, they're, their environment over there is great. I'm sure our environment here tomorrow will be great, you know, it's a big rivalry game that, that, you know, and Coach Pearl made the point to me, I think maybe my second year, like this this game's always been a big game in the state of Alabama. It's it's taken it from a big game in the state of Alabama to a big game in the country. You know, I think games of the night on Wednesday, I think somebody put them out, maybe it was Andy Katz had Alabama-Auburn game, number one, one game, maybe, maybe even of the week. I'm not sure if somebody sent it to me, but it, it's gotten to be that point, like this – they're in first place in the league. We're one game behind them. You know, if they beat us, they're two games out, and they've given themselves an unbelievable lead to win the league. You know, if we beat them, we're tied for first place, and we're right there competing for a league championship again. So th this game has meaning across the country, not just in the state of Alabama now. Talked about KD Johnson last night on the radio. Just you know, maybe the season shooting percentage isn't great, but he went four or five against you last year. Just how dangerous is he as a shooter? Yeah, I mean, we made that point. Our guys know it. You know, you can look at his numbers. That is what he's shooting. You know, the numbers are the numbers. Uh, he's going to have a, a little bit different edge to him in tomorrow night's game than he has in the rest of these games. And he's one of their real emotional guys. Talks a lot. Play gets his energy up. You know. You know, they kind of play off his energy a little bit. So uh, we're not going to treat him like a 20% shooter. He's going to be treated a lot more like the four or five shooter he played like last year. You you mentioned that Auburn's playing better right now, but how would you describe the gap between you guys right now? Is it a lot closer than maybe it looks on the record? Or Yeah, I mean, I, I, like record-wise, they're significantly better than we are. You know, they, we, we've, we're 12 and 6, and they've – don't have many losses there. Uh, if you look at the metrics, and I've told our guys this, like, okay, that's great. We've blown out some bad teams by a lot, so our efficiency metrics look good. In, in the games that matter, we're not coming up with enough wins. They've come up with a lot more wins. So I, I we'll see tomorrow. I, I don't really have the answer to that. I think – our guys need to compete more. They need to play together more. They need to take care of the ball more. Like, we got to figure out how to win tough, close games. Like, I, I do think the talent level's a lot closer than what the record would say, but talent's not everything. Like, you can be a really talented non competitor. Like, I, I'm still trying to figure out are, you know, are we a competitive group that, that does what it takes to win, or, or we just got a lot of really talented players that, fold when you know when they're in the middle of tough games against good teams because I'm, I'm not sure yet like I, I I hope we got some competitive guys I thought today's practice looked a little bit more like what it's supposed to look like but we'll, we'll see when the ball goes up tomorrow though you talked about the last three regular season titles being in the state um and all three of those years one of the two teams has swept the series so how important is it this year that y'all have the first opportunity to you know, use that home court advantage in, in the series this year? Yeah, I mean, it's, you know, they're, they're in first place. They're they're ahead of us in the league. That, that, like you said, the two years we won the regular season, we swept them. The one year they won the regular season, they swept us. They're, they're a better team than we are right now. So this this win at home is going to go a long ways towards the league championship, in my, in my opinion. I, I mean, if, if they beat us, you know, they're obviously going to be favored at home, and they're going to be two games ahead of us and at least one game ahead of everybody else. If we, if we can beat them, we'll be right in it, tied with them. You know, they, they certainly won't sweep us, you know, if we can get this first win. And 
you know, and we, we just we got to get ourselves going. We got to prove to ourselves we can win a tough game. So I, I hope we've got some competitive guys that know what a rivalry game looks like that can step up in this big game and and play like it's for the league championship because it very well may be. I think you mentioned last night how last year you guys lost at Tennessee but bounced back in a big way against Georgia. Just how have you seen the guys respond in practice to maybe do the same? Some of the guys, and we practiced twice, Monday, Tuesday. I thought some of them responded appropriately Monday. I thought a lot more of them responded appropriately today. Um, you know, we made that point. We, you know, we lost to, was it after Tennessee was at the Georgia game and after the Oklahoma game was the Vanderbilt game. Yeah, yeah, we, we responded to those losses pretty well last year. Now, Auburn's not Vanderbilt and Georgia of last year. They're the best team in our league right now. So I told our guys it's going to take an effort like we played with against Vanderbilt and Georgia after the losses last year just to get a win, period. We're not going to blow these guys out like we did. But but your points made, like we did respond well last year. I think some of these guys understand – what it takes to compete in this league, and some guys are still trying to figure it out. Um, they just released the 2024 McDonald's All-American rosters, and both Aiden Shirell and uh, Darren Reed were named. What does that recognition mean for uh, both them in this program? Yeah, I mean, they're really good players. We're super excited to get them both here. You know, it's uh, it was supposed to be the 24 best players in high school basketball. It's nice to have two of them, you know, and – you have more talent, it's easier to be a really good coach, it's easier to win games. So we're excited to have, you know, the opportunity to hopefully have more talent than a lot of our opponents next year. So, you know, our, our assistants did a great job. You know, they, you know, we, we were on both these guys with the previous assistants and they got handed off to the new assistants that were able to close it. I mean, we've been on both these guys for a long time, Darion being from over in Georgia, not too far. He's been over here a decent amount. Aiden's originally from Detroit. Like we're, you know, I coached 11 years and knew a lot of those people. He's kind of bounced around a couple of different places. But, you know, they're both high school teammates now, which is pretty cool because we were recruiting them before they ever teamed up together. And, you know, they, they, their team's one of the best teams in high school basketball. You know, hopefully they come in knowing how to win, competing. But, yeah, it, you got to get good talent to win, and I, I I like where we're at with this class, you know. And then Nas is really good too, so he didn't make the McDonald's game, but he's we got three guys that are I think top forty for sure, top fifty players that are that are all very talented and fit the scheme that we want to play under. Thanks, guys.